If I suggested I was anything other than a complete novice when it comes to billfish, I'd only be fooling myself. As we leave the calmness of the dockside, am I prepared for what might lie ahead? I can also say I'm not sure what to expect. I sit here pondering the day ahead, and I could be a million miles away from the salmon rivers of Scotland. Because today I'm pursuing one of the fastest, most powerful ocean-going fish that will take a fly. I've come to Kuala Rumpin in search of my first sailfish. Twelve weight lines and rods, a reel the size of a dinner plate, and flies bigger than a small bird. Everything points to the fact we are pursuing big fish. Bigger fish than I've ever faced in my fly fishing career. But I am here and I am ready. It's peak season and my guide's anticipation is high. He's been here many times as such a novice, and his smile he looks out the open ocean tells me everything I need to know about what might lie ahead. Despite my lack of experience, I'm confident of a fish today, as I'm in the company of John Way and his team from Fly Fishing Asia. John is probably the best sailfishing guide in Malaysia. He has fished to fly in his waters for sailfish for decades. I'm definitely in good hands. The teasers are run out both sides of the boat to lure the sailfish close enough for us to get a shot with the fly. I gaze out over the South China Sea, my eyes straining at the teasers in the water waiting for the black bills and fins to appear. The sailfish are deep under the water, and they will rarely break the surface unless they are feeding. They are constantly on the move, so getting close to these invisible high-speed fish would seem an impossible task in this huge expanse of water. But we have a helping hand. On the horizon, terns and frigates flock and hover over the sailfish, hoping for a share of the bait fish that the sailfish are pushing to the surface. The hovering birds unknowingly give away the sailfish location, and it's a game of cat and mouse as we use the birds to help us pursue the invisible sailfish across the open ocean. John tells me the fishing will go from 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in a fraction of a second, and I need to be ready. To say I'm nervous with anticipation is an understatement. There's an air of expectation as we get close to the birds, I get the feeling something's going to happen. John is on edge, and I can see he's tense with concentration. Out of nowhere, we see a bill and a fin close behind the teaser. It's a sailfish, and it's within range. Here we go. As soon as the teaser is pulled, the sailfish's attention switches immediately to the fly in its line of sight and smashes it. The sailfish turns and immediately runs hard away from the boat. And acrobatically leaps from the water. It's a fantastic sight, and one I can never forget. It continues to pull line, and the drag set hard but the fish is not slowing down. It's taken the whole fly line in about 200 yards of backing, which is incredible considering the short period of time since it took the fly. Eventually I get the fish stopped and frantically try to recover line. 
The fish is a long way out and it's going to take some effort to bring it close. It still has incredible strength and it's making me work hard for every yard of line. After what seems like an eternity, I get it close. I have the drag set full on, but it's still able to take line this far into the fight. I can see a black shard in the water, and I get my first close look at the fish as it raises its head from the water and shakes trying to break free. I'm nervous with this fish, even though the leader is rated at 60 pounds. I have my doubt that it cannot break free if it decides it has the strength to make another run with such a tight drag set. John encourages me to keep pulling. He tells me the fish is resting and trying to recover its strength, and it'll be ready to go again if we don't get it in soon. A final defiant head shake and I feel it weakening quickly and I guide it towards the boat's step handler. Back, step back. My rod and line go slack. We have it. It takes me a minute to comprehend this fish that I see in the water. It's simply nothing short of magnificent. The fish is put in a hard fight, and as with all sailfish caught with John and his team, we choose to leave the fish in the water and not bring it on board. The sheer size of the fish is overwhelming, and its bright colours, distinctive markings, and huge sail just glisten in the sunlight. I can only marvel at its beauty, and I know instantly this will not be my last sailfish. This day has been an experience, and I cannot thank John and his team enough for helping me realise this achievement. I hand the fish back to the handler, who has the experience and knowledge to revive and release this fish safely. It's heartening to see it regain its strength as it prepares for release. The skipper started the engines we were running slowly to ensure there is water flowing through the gills to help the fish regain its strength. It won't be long before this one is again chasing bait fish and swimming fast and free. It's great to see it swim away and I'll remember this fish for a long time.